everyone, this is Emma. Welcome to online video course Piano Well. This is lesson number 10. We're working with my training book. Uh, you can download for free on my website artofpianotechnique.com and um, open it on page 50. And the topic of this lesson is um, phrasing. Phrasing is one of the most important music and musical expression. <clears throat> um, and basically phrasing is ability to allocate motives, phrases and sentences in the musical texture and then distribute weight in those sections the way it would bring sense of completeness to musical speech. Um, we talked about musical speech in the previous lesson, so if you want to know about this more, just uh, check out that video. So, musical speech, just like a human speech, needs to have a um, beginning and end. And this is one of the reasons why teachers started to give some advices about phrasing uh, to their students. When they uh, hear that students playing um, reminds endless speech, there is no beginning, there is no end, um, music, do music doesn't flow anywhere, uh, it just tumble every single bar, bar, and it's very boring to listen to such performance. Then they start to give some advice. They try to explain uh, phrasing in different ways, both logical and emotional. Um, they would actually put some lyrics into the music to let students understand better um, musical pattern and to feel uh, how to say it's actually all about letting students to feel main sections in the melody to bring more attention and feeling to those sections well anyway <laughs> it doesn't really work uh, sometimes they ask to feel phrasing through tempo deviations um, to slow down somewhere, <laughs> you know, to again to open like some to bring up the motive and the melody, particular motive and the melody. But again, it's all about imitating their ideas. They cannot um, explain how to see the clear structural phrasing and more important how to express phrasing through playing. So unless students know the structure of phrasing, um, feel musical speech and music patterns and can express phrasing through intonation, students cannot make a good phrasing. Even if they have an idea of what phrasing is, and um, maybe even have an idea how it, it should sound. It's still, it's that still, it still is not enough. I really apologize about my voice. Um, I've been sticking for a while and still recovering, and <laughs> my coughing just drives me crazy. But I cannot pass upon my, my videos anymore. <laughs> I need to make my videos, <laughs> so. Um, but. <clears throat> I'm trying to be good, <laughs> not coughing every minute. Um, so basically phrasing is the art of distributing weight. And if you uh, master this technique, if you can correctly distribute weight and energy while playing, that will uh, improve your technique uh, 
somehow that will improve velocity of your fingers and it will be much easier for you to play any virtuosic passages. Okay, so let me give you some examples finally. Mm, I'm gonna play some music and I will play it without phrasing and then with phrasing. No commands, guys, you will... Everyone has ears, so you will feel the difference. You will understand why it's so important. Okay, how to play without phrasing. <laughs> um, well, okay. So I'm gonna play just with good intonation. Um, I will gather weight and um, intonate every interval with musical speech, but no phrasing. <coughs> Tell me, oh, you just speed up the slide. <laughs> it sounds nicer. I will try to, to keep this same time. Okay. and sentences. Then you need to find main intervals in motifs, main motifs in phrase, and main phrases, main phrases in sentences. And the last thing you just need to know how to express phrasing through intonation and weight. I mean that's kind of a natural thing if you already um, acquire this technique of intonation and weight. <laughs> um, so I have made a slideshow that um, will let you understand better what I'm talking about. Again guys, if you're watching it on iPad, try to switch it and go to laptop and watch it from laptop because on iPad you cannot see annotations. And I made some annotations to my slideshow, so um, that might be helpful for you to read them a little bit. So just go on laptop and watch my, this video from laptop. Um, so again, the kind of three sections. In the first section I will show the limits of motifs, then limits of phrases, limits of sentences, and I will explain how to find them. Then. Um, the middle part, <coughs> very short, I will show you my intervals and motifs, my motifs and phrases, my phrases and sentences, and again, I will let you uh, know 
um, some kind of rules. Um, it works in 90% from my experience how to correctly find these main sections in the music. And then um, at the end I will just show you the full uh, phrasing in the whole piece. And it, it will have some red slivers and uh, they just uh, they show you the main intervals, main motifs and main phrases. So let's go guys, let's take a look. So if you want to know more about phrasing, um, you may find it in my textbook and workbook. Again, download it for free from my website at Um 
So the last step about how you actually express phrasing through intonation. <clears throat> when you intonate melodies with weight and you want to emphasize um, some like main intervals, the motifs of phrases, you naturally give more weight to those sections and uh, that will let that will make those sections sound more expressive, bold and relief. So it will be absolutely natural. So let's go to book and through assignments I will show you how it works. So let me open my book. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, okay, I will be fine. <clears throat> so, page 50, assignment. Sing and play a sequence of notes with phrasing. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna sing, oh my god, sing a sequence of notes with musical speech and phrasing. Okay, guys, so if you can see um, the main part <laughs> on the, on the, on the um, below, on the same page. So there are basically three parts here. Um, first part says motifs, then phrases, then sentences. <clears throat> and I wrote main intervals in motifs are underlined. So you see the C F sharp uh, is underlined. That means that this is your main interval. Um, I know it's a very simple example, but I really want you to start with this simple exercise. <clears throat> to start developing this technique. Um, so let's go to section how to do and it says sing a sequence of notes with musical speech and phrasing. So basically we uh, get a weight of course before singing and then sing with movements and in our minds we kind of lead everything to uh, this um, augmented fourth. <coughs> So it would sound this. <clears throat> and next time. Come back. Compared with <clears throat> literary sentence, we can say that in this motif is just like a word, and we're trying to find the main syllable in this word. So always keep in mind what is the main interval here. Now, next step: imagine sound texture and play a sequence of notes with musical speech and phrasing. So here we have to imagine first again with sound texture every note. Okay. Now get away and play it. And again, um, we can actually play with both hands, I guess. Okay, let's do it with both hands.
this. Um, this is a little bit more complicated because now you need to have an idea of the full phrase and in this phrase there will be two motives and uh, in this case I underline second motive so just, ima just imagine <laughs> a small phrase uh, that is uh, that consists of two motives so phrase it consists of two words and second word is more important than the first word and still each of these words have the main uh, syllable. <laughs> so you just need to really to picture this structure in your mind. Okay, so we'll try. now I emphasize the, the first motive so the first word in this phrase is more important than second word okay <laughs> so all together section main phrase in a sentence so you see there's a sentences <coughs> and okay <laughs> so now you need to imagine big sentence okay not so big let's say sentence that consists of four words and there is some potential sign between first motive and second motive between first phrase and second phrase so basically it's a okay from you word word and this is phrase and again word and word and this is another phrase and all together they are in sentence okay and so in this case I made first phrase more important than second phrase so basically first <coughs> first two motives first two words are more important than second two words and now I underline <laughs> here the uh, main motive in the phrase. So in this case, in the first important phrase, the second motive, the second word is more important. And in the second phrase, which is less important, the first motive, the first word, is more important so if I could write down this to do something like be mm, big very big less and less okay just picture this <laughs> or just look at my mood okay guys I'm really not sure if I can sing it Especially now. Okay, I will gonna try it in a very fast tempo. <clears throat> Maybe not from the first time. <laughs> okay. 
So now let's play all of this. Okay. Let me play just just right here. <laughs> in motifs. <laughs> um, there is a name for this kind of um, musical ear I'm trying to develop here. The name is architectonic ear. I've never heard it before until I started really searching if there is a kind of um, musical ear that helps to feel this, you know? And it's actually true. There is an architectonic ear that basically it works how it works when you listen to music, you can see the clear structure. Like um, one section, another section, they like uh, united into the big, mm, bigger section, and then so basically you like build music from some sections. Okay, anything else? No, I think that's it. So we can go to the next lesson. Um, yeah, so... Um, again, go to the description to this video and there is a link that um, will bring you to the page where you can download textbook and workbook. These are quite old books. Um, I made it first time maybe six years ago, but then recently I made the second version. It's just for professional pianists and uh, there are a little bit more information about phrasing. Um, so if you're really interested about this and I I'm sure it really helps uh, it really helps you to improve your technique and playing. Uh, so if you if you are sure as well just go and download it for free and um, make this assignment all right <clears throat> see you in my next video <laughs> bye